Prince Albert Primary School, just down the road from Villa Park. Tickets for schools. It's about the next generation of supporters for Villa. It's been a wonderful scheme and it's lovely to be here uh, amid so many enthusiastic, exuberant young voices in the hall here. Let's uh, go to the headmaster, Sajit. Great to see you. And this has been a super scheme for you. Just tell us a little bit about it's it. It's worked really well for us. Um, what it's meant is that hundreds of youngsters who otherwise wouldn't go to Villa Park uh, have had the opportunity to see Premiership football. Um, it's a fantastic partnership between the school and the club. And hopefully what we'll get is the uh, next generation of Villa fans growing up around Villa Park. Yeah, it's great. Always coming to the, the schools. I went to Baldmere School uh, last year. and. The, kid, the kids love it, um, it makes their day, breaks their day up from lessons as well, so I think they're just happy for that. But um, yeah, the atmosphere when you come to these places is tremendous, we get a great reception and, and uh, it's good to give something back to them. As you say, you were there for the start of this scheme and I think today just goes to show it's been a real success. Yeah, without doubt, um, I heard this was, this was uh, the, best, the best school for, for taking the kids to the games and uh, credit to them, uh, credit to the teachers, and uh, it's just brilliant that the, the scheme's working so well. When we came in, you know, the atmosphere in the, in the assembly hall was fantastic. When we walked in, it's, it's nice, you know, to see the, the smiles on the kids' faces. You know, it wasn't so long ago, really, that you know, I was doing, that was on the other side, you know, yeah. presentation, like, things like that, when footballers were coming in, and it was, it's a fantastic you know, thing to meet them and see them, and uh, obviously I know what it feels like. Uh, it's very good for the young guys that probably get them fired up and look forward to something in the week to see uh, maybe some of their uh, heroes or what we say people they look up to role models to come out and say hi to them. Do you value that part of your job? Uh, yeah definitely do uh, because my, my brother's a teacher back home and I went to their school and it was it's uh, nice to see kids uh, uh, that look basically look up to maybe a professional player. Yeah. It's, it's good for uh, being a role model for young kids. And these are the people that have put together t the Tickets for School scheme so that we can go to Aston Villa matches um, in the way that we do. So can we say a big thank you and a warm round of applause for you? We're absolutely delighted in, in the scheme today. We launched the scheme sort of towards the end of last season and rolled it out for the last eight games with a view to sort of signing up about 20 schools. We actually launched with 62, um, which has just been fabulous, you know, end to end so far. And really looking forward to it being sort of its real first year um, and taking it all the successes of what we've done today to move them forward. For, for parents and, and teachers to be able to take their kids along and uh, take them to a Premier League game is it, it, fantastic um, and especially for free it's it's uh, sensational um, but yeah like you say when when kids go to games they they appreciate it more and uh, I think it's fantastic from their point of view and uh, fantastic from um, the, the scheme. We, we operate the scheme slightly differently to uh, one or two other schools where we actually accompany the children to some of the some of the bigger games and um, the most successful game to date was the Man City game last season where I think we took about 120 youngsters to the game. Um, the teachers are happy to give their time up at the weekend to go to games as well so there's a nice sort of community feel to the event and it's worked really well for us. We've got to keep these these schemes going you know so yeah. obviously we get we get the young people into to the games because uh, you know obviously they're going to grow older and uh, you know maybe get season tickets one day. The, the club have been fantastic right from the, um, the, the the start. We were invited in one or two head teachers to discuss the scheme and um, our ideas were really taken on board and uh, we get the feeling it's been a real partnership. So when I was younger, I was when I would always watch fo uh, football or soccer and I would watch Chicago Fire. They I always looked up to those players, so I'm sure that some of the kids in there would look up to the players out in Aston Villa, and it's no different to anywhere around the world. If you can get people to come down and watch us, you know, it's, it's fun. Like you said, the atmosphere on, on Saturday was unbelievable. You know, it, it, definitely, it definitely helped us. So, uh, you know, like you say, we can, we can keep the crowd on our side and keep that atmosphere buzzing. My, my biggest frustration being a Villa fan in a school like Prince Albert is the, uh, the lack of Villa fans around, but hopefully with this scheme, uh, once the youngsters start going to Villa Park, they'll, they'll develop that interest and that uh, support for the club. And rather than 
you know, sharing the school hall with fans who aren't Villa fans. I won't mention the teams they support, but hopefully in a few years we'll have a hall full of Villa fans. How about the guys being here today? That really adds um, to it, doesn't it? I think it really inspires the children and, and it makes Premiership footballers real people. You know, the guys have come, they've stood at the front, they've answered the questions um, and they've engaged with the children and it goes to show, it shows the children, you know, they're real people um, and they're happy to come into school, spend some time with us and, and long may it continue. It's good to be, good to be back and uh, be back in the fold. Yeah, we'll always thrust a camera at you, uh, Mark. Here, you, you can you can be sure of that. But the, Eric and Matt seem to enjoy it as well. Yeah, yeah, they're the top lads. Um, all the young boys, they're, they've settled in well. Um, all the new signings, it's brilliant. Um, no, no player in, in the dressing room would ever turn down turn down the chance to come come to a school like this and, and give such such a good a good thing back. Did you have a favourite subject? Was it PE? Uh, well, yeah, it was PE. But well, aside from that, it was uh, maths. Oh, right, really? Right, yeah. OK. We'll bear that in mind. <laughs> Finally, you're the toast of the Lowson family, I'm sure, after a Saturday. Have you seen that goal back again? Um, yeah, I think we had match of the day on for a good three hours, I think. <laughs> you know, with the old, with the rewind and, and watching it again, you know. But I had a lot of family down on Saturday, you know. They all came back to my house after and it was it was nice, you know, to, to see uh, my dad with a tear in his eye when I was on match of the day. Oh!